next. It's a featherweight matchup between Bruce Lee and Anthony Showtime Pettis. You can be great, Showtime, Anthony Pettis, one of the most diverse and exciting strikers in mixed martial arts today. He has trained for over a decade with four-time world kickboxing champion Duke Rufus, who many years ago stated that this kid was special. And he was right, as he is one of the best fighters in the world today. Anthony Pettis is a very well-rounded fighter. For his stand-up, he trains under Duke Rufus, and he has a very creative and unorthodox game as a striker. He's got a very solid ground game as well. Good wrestling and a sick triangle choke. Anthony Pettis looking for another UFC win. Bruce Lee ready to go to battle once again inside the octagon. This guy is a leg lock and arm bar specialist. If he gets a hold of a limb, you are in deep trouble. Bruce Lee is set to go toe to toe with Anthony Showtime Pettis. Our tale of the tape for this featherweight fight. Lee is two years his elder. Pettis is three inches tall. The rest is virtually identical. And now with our official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Taekwondo fighter. Only a professional record of 19 wins, five losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former UFC lightweight champion, Anthony Showtime! And now he's his opponent, fighting out of the corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Levine. Eve Levine, our referee. Are you ready? You ready? Here we go! Tonight's fight is scheduled for three five-minute rounds. White trunks for Pettis. Yellow trunks for Lee. Pettis, of course, famous for that title-winning, crazy showtime kick that may very well have won him the fight against Ben Henderson in an amazing five-round event for the last WEC lightweight title as a background for Taekwondo initially before he started practicing Muay Thai under Duke Rufus. And a lot of times when you see that, you see those Taekwondo guys have just a bit more leg dexterity because they throw so many techniques with the, with the legs. Pettis with a straight right to the midsection. Both men landing in that exchange. He defends the head strike with a strong parry. Changes stance. Oh, oh head kick. Kick to kick. <laughs> Powerful jab. Man, they love showtime. Oh, nice body shot. Good one, too. Nice parry there. Oh, Here's big head kick, kick, kick. Joe. What a brawl. These guys are going off. Hard straight punch. Big left hand. Nice jab. He was 
was looking for the head kick, but it was blocked. The timing is strikes nicely. He avoids. Good job with the leg kick. That one blocked. He connects with the straight. A kick to the body. Double underhooks here. He's working over under here. He lands a hook from the clinch. 30 seconds. And he lands the roundhouse. Oh, he got clipped. Good kick. Man, he goes down. Lee with the left. First right. round in the books. And here's a nice punch that lands clean. And here's another punch that sneaks through. And here's another perfectly placed punch. Brittany gets us set for round number two. Second round. Joe, what do you think about that first round? It was a decent first round. It looks like they're just starting to pick up the pace, though. Changing stances. Excellent jab by Pettis. Nice body kick. He's keeping busy here, connecting with a lot of punches. Back up. Big punch. Good right-left combo by Pettis. Take a look at the significant strikes landing. Head kick. Nicely done. Good job blocking the punch. Tying up the clinch, looking for openings. Lee with a solid knee from the clinch. Oh, powerful right leg kick. The huge head kick is blocked. Excellent counter left by Lee. They are exchanging here, Mike. Man, he's thrown some heavy body shots. And you can see the bruising on his right side. Lands a hard kick. Big straight punch. Vicious combination. Head kick. Big shot. Nice combination. Solid shot to the body. Hard straight punch. Rocked him with that right hand. <laughs> Joe, that was well done blocking the punch. Man, he really turned on that inside leg. Nice oh! He's, hurt. He's clearly hurt. Can he finish it? He lands a head kick. That's a big hook. Oh, he's landing. Vicious shot to the body. Big combination. Solid jab. Oh, and he lands the head kick. He caught him with the head kick. Big straight punch. Oh, head kick. Oh, powerful kicks. That huge head kick was blocked. Oh, oh my! He heard him. Wow! Big punch! Huge bomb from the top. Hurt him with that right. What a way to work it.
with the finish of this round. Anthony Pettis is lucky to get out of that round. That was a huge knockdown. Very lucky. That was very close to being stopped. He looked like he was in big trouble. Here's a vicious kick that results in a knockdown. Let's see that again. And here it is from a different angle. The lovely Ariani here tonight in Los Angeles, California. out swinging he did a nice job blocking the head kick switching his stance up a little bit I saw the cut when it was first open Joe but it's really swelling up quickly he's keeping his head protected here excellent blocking connected there Anthony Pettis is continuing to attack that bad eye he certainly is targeting it, and the more that eye swells, the less his opponent's gonna be able to see the punches coming. And they're free. Pettis with a good punch. He switches back to Southpaw. Oh, very nice. Huge run. kick to the midsection. He is hurt. He is in big trouble here. He's wincing in pain. That's a heavy body kick. Combination. And oh! He's got to be careful here. He's in trouble. Hard straight punch. Landing some shots. Oh! Nice, oh, knee. nice knee. Very nice. Well placed. That jab is lightning fast. That bruise on his torso is getting bad. He's doing a great job of mixing things up here, keeping it unpredictable. He misses with the left hook. Joe, that's great control of the center of the octagon. You can tell it's his game. No doubt about it, Mike. I don't think there could be any debate. Body shot. Good combo. He's doing a great job of timing these shots. Hit him with the jab. Standing and trading. Exactly what we had hoped for. Oh, that's a strong Muay Thai plum clinch. They split. He's got him thinking. He faints with the kick. Good defense with the parry. Solid straight punch. Head kick! Oh, very nice. Oh, that one hurt him. 20 seconds. the straight down. They go the distance, and now it's in the hands of the judges. Bruce Lee's versatility should earn him the win this evening. Absolutely. He had more weapons, more attacks, and more success. Round two, we see more of the same beautiful kicking technique on display. Round three, good tight defense, but this strike sneaks through. The decision is in. And here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges scored the contest 30-27, 9-28, and 30-27. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bruce the Judge Lee! Bruce Lee earns the victory by unanimous decision.